As we approach what will be an unusual Tisha B'Av, I'd just like to share a small thought. We know that the calendar is arranged so that Devorim is always read before Tisha B'Av, and the central theme of Devorim is that of rebuke, the uh, rebuke that Moshe gave to the Jewish people uh, in his final speech. The very opening Pesukim are a reference, albeit an oblique one, to uh, some of the low points of the travels through the desert, whether the sins of Kurach or the Egel Hazav or the events of the spies. And this continues throughout the rest of the Sefer. Tuchacha is often translated as rebuke. Actually, a more accurate translation is, is probably proof. Tuchacha is about holding up a mirror and uh, asking ourselves difficult questions. Are we living up to our own standards? Um, are we somehow letting ourselves down uh, or, or not achieving our best? And whilst the reflection of Elul and uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is ultimately positive, it's forward-looking, it's growth-focused, Tisha B'Av is the one time of the year when we remain uh, backwards-looking, immersed in the pain of, of loss, of mistakes made and opportunities missed. And this is because we don't see suffering as pointless. I don't mean uh, by that that we should engage in speculative reasoning about why we suffer loss and bereavement. There's, there's much that we don't know and can't know and shouldn't seek to justify or somehow explain away. But it is about accepting our weakness, our vulnerability, uh, stripping away the illusion of uh, somehow being in control and using this um, acceptance to grow and to change. Many of us have lived through terribly challenging few months, suffered uh, painful losses. Uh, many of us are still going through a tough time and we don't know what the next few months will bring. If our recent experiences have taught us anything, they've hopefully removed our hubristic assumption, illusion that we're in control of our destiny. Um, Tisha B'Av will certainly be unusual, uh, will be isolated and more alone than usual, uh, without much of the communal structure and shared communal life that normally supports us. But we can use this time alone to uh, reassess ourselves and priorities and our assumptions. Um, this Tisha B'Av, uh, as we sit on the ground, we can mourn and we can think about what matters to us, what we've lost, what we long for and what perhaps we took for granted. Tisha B'Av is a long day, it's a quiet day, it's a lonely day. It's a day when we're not meant to distract ourselves if we find ourselves growing bored. Um, it can be a day of opportunity, of growth, if we don't fight it, if we don't resist it, if we use it for what it's designed for. Finally, please do look in my email where I give a brief uh, halachic summary of some points around Tisha B'Av. The core Tisha B'Av halachas are no eating and drinking, not washing hands or body beyond uh, basic hygiene needs not to wear leather shoes, marital intimacy is forbidden, and Torah study is restricted to Tisha B'Av or other related morning topics. Um, however, if you do have any health concerns about fasting, please speak to me as soon as possible. And similarly, if you experience any COVID-19 symptoms, break immediately and seek uh, medical advice. Um, it, in general years, as I mentioned, we restrict uh, washing. However, this year, please keep the highest COVID-19 uh, standards, including, of course, full use of sanitizers. Finally, as I mentioned also in my email, after Tisha B'Av, I'll be taking a break from my regular Shiram and Joshas. They'll still be available for Shilas or pressing pastoral needs. I look forward to resuming uh, the full program upon our return. But please let me take this chance to wish you not just a healthy and meaningful fast, but also to wish you well for the next few weeks of summer and uh, hope that all of us manage to use this time to get a little bit of a break, to relax a little, and prepare for the start of the new school year and the Yomim Narayim season that follows shortly after that. So I wish you well, may we all be healthy and experience every bracha. Amen.